The next city is another level like Golf, where all of the toppins and optional pickups are behind optional taxis. This makes it a really easy level to play normally, but unlike Golf, getting the P-rank with Pizza Face is a bit trickier. The main difficulty comes from the handcuffs, as they trap Pepino in one place until he turns around and runs into them. This is pretty bad, but most handcuffs in the level can be easily avoided. This gets a lot trickier once Gustavo and Brick get introduced, as now instead of trapping the player, they trap Brick, leaving Gustavo vulnerable until he kicks the handcuff to get Brick back. This is showcased perfectly in the fifth taxi, where Brick gets immediately captured by a handcuff here, and Gustavo's limited movement doesn't let us dodge Pizza Face at all. We can super taunt the handcuff before Brick gets caught, and do a double jump and Brick kick here to avoid the second handcuff, but no matter what, Brick will get caught by the third handcuff. Gustavo won't be able to recover him because he moves so slowly on the monkey bars, and we can't super taunt the handcuff as we used it earlier and have no way of getting it back in time. We also can't simply skip this taxi, as we need to get Jerome and the third secret. So, as much as I hate to admit it, the P rank is impossible for this level. Did I actually get any of you this time? I'll be surprised if I did, because by now you should already know about the noise. The noise makes the handcuffs in this level a non-issue, as he doesn't fear the police. This makes escaping, and more importantly, avoiding the handcuffs much easier in the taxis, making this level possible. If you want to watch the level in full, it's linked in the description. I start off with a woost off this wall here to gain more speed. For anyone who doesn't know, a woost is an abbreviated term for the word wall boost, which can be done with the noise to gain instant Mach 4 speed off of a wall. I don't really know how this works, so if you want to learn more about it, Coco Sprinkles made a video about it a while back that I highly recommend you watch. Anyways, I enter the first taxi, where I skip the rap balloon with a wall bounce and juke Pizza Face after getting the mushroom topping. The second taxi has me break the metal block at the start with an instant cancel out of a tornado attack, as grab sliding to reach Mach 3 would be too slow. I then twirl off the wall so the spinning handcuff breaks the metal block for me and then jackhammer... I'm sorry, I mean crusher jump out of the rap balloon to avoid Pizza Face. Doing this any slower would lead to Pizza Face instantly catching me, but you can lure him to the right and fly over him to make this part a bit easier. Pizza Face spawns really close in the first secret, so I super taunt the handcuffs for some extra points and crusher jump cancel to fly to the exit. Or just uppercut I guess, that works too. I break the metal block leading up to the third taxi by spinning and pile driving an enemy on top of it. The third taxi itself is pretty easy, where I just have to do some rounded movement so Pizza Face doesn't catch me here. The noise gets sent to prison for sick movement, so the noise's stunt double has to continue the level. The fourth taxi has this long monkey bar section that is too slow when doing normally, so I simply fly over it. The same goes for the second secret, where I tornado down until I go past these poles in the background, at which point I start Crusher flying up to the exit. There's some tricky movement after I leave the fourth taxi, but ultimately nothing we can't handle. The fifth taxi is made much easier now, as we can simply avoid the handcuffs without any fear of getting arrested. I still super taunt here for some extra points, and wait at the left for a bit before getting Jerome. After getting him, I immediately crush or fly up to the third secret, which has me boost off the rat balloons in order to outrun Pizza Face. We're still at a B once I exit the fifth taxi, so we're going to have to get a majority of our points in the escape. There's a total of four big collects I can collect during pizza time. One after the jumps, one on the monkey bars, one after the taxi, and one inside the metal block. Since the rest of the run was so tight, it's ideal I get all four of them now. The second big collect leads to me getting trapped on the monkey bars, but Pizza Face is super far away, so I'm able to easily recover. Getting to the secret treasure is a bit tricky, where I stall a bit with a taunt before sliding under Pizza Face. No up door, unfortunately, because that would waste too much time. I mess up the movement for the third big collect, so my points are really tight going into lap 2. Pull through though, and despite missing a few enemy kills, I just barely managed to scrape out a peering right before the exit door, ending in 5 minutes and 10 seconds. That was a tight, yet still somewhat of an easy level. Most of you are probably expecting me to do Peppy Bot Factory next, but I'm actually going to try my hand at Refrigerator, Refrigerator, Freezerator next. I'll let you know if that level is possible or not in my next video.